Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokosch here at the 2018 Libertarian National Convention. I'm joined now by Bryce Barris. He is part of the Convention of the States Project. And Bryce, you're also uh, a, a libertarian. You're, you're, you're part of this movement, although you describe yourself as on your way to libertarianism, which is really exciting. We're going to come back to that. But I really want to make sure that you get a chance to pitch this because it's a very exciting idea and it really hits at the core of a lot of what's important to me as a libertarian. So what's this project all about? So the Convention of States Project wants to use Article 5 of the United States Constitution to propose amendments to the Constitution uh, that limit the power and jurisdiction of the federal government, in a nutshell. So what are the uh, actual tenets that you would have in, in this? What, what would the material, so let's start with what would the material objectives that, that you see in this process? So we think the federal leviathan has grown beyond its constitutional cage and we want to put it back in its constitutional cage. The application that we are advancing in all of the states around the country call for three topics that we want considered at the convention. Number one, imposing fiscal restraints on the federal government. Number two, limiting the power and jurisdiction of the federal government. And three, limiting the terms of office for federal officials, which I might add will also include bureaucrats and Supreme Court justices. Now, every time I've heard this subject raised in the past, there's been the, the, the fear specter raised that calling an Article 5 convention could lead to uh, a, a, a greater tyranny. But how would you prevent that? Well, very, very simply, the states set the agenda. This, it is the states that the convention can only happen, two-thirds of the states call, they set the agenda. And the agenda is the three items that I just described to you. Then the convention, a lot of people get confused, the convention doesn't adopt its own proposals. Think of it as like a study committee. They make recommendations in the form of constitutional amendments. Whatever comes out of the convention must be ratified by 38 states, period. So really, it would take 13 states to stop any amendment, if you think about it, if you do, if right. you do the math. So the ratification method is the big one that prevents the runaway convention. Now, the process here, you're going to have to go state by state and get what exactly to happen? So we need to get the state legislatures to pass a resolution calling for the Article 5 convention with the three topics that I just described to you. Twelve states have already passed it, including here in Louisiana. So then, in this convention, what would be the ruling authority or who would be in, in charge of managing such a convention? The states. Well, they, so the, how would they then appoint, uh, I mean, they have to appoint a, like a body to actually oversee the process, right? So does like each state gets one representative on the committee and then the committee votes, something like that? Very, very good question. Uh, the states choose the commissioners. They're called commissioners. They receive a commission from the state. State can send as many commissioners as it wants, but this is important to know. Each state gets one vote. So California, Rhode Island, Texas, Louisiana, all has the same voice. One state, one vote at the convention. Now, the, the reason I'm excited about this is, is for me, you know, like as a libertarian, seeing this great reduction in the size, scope, relevancy of government being possible, of course, that's going to excite me, right? You had a resolution submitted on the floor here for the LP to endorse it. And, and to be fair, I don't think it was appropriate for the LP to endorse this project. But what's exciting to me about it is that it has this potential to build a bigger consensus around a specific mechanism. Now, I don't know what the odds of success are with this, but if it's gaining momentum, you know, I want to see that continue. I want to see anything that gets Americans fundamentally questioning the nature of government so they're ready to change it one way or another at a fundamental level. Now. Can you relate that to, to your own process of, of waking up to the nature of government and where you are? In, uh, well, how did you describe it? You, you feel the libertarianism coming? So I have been a conservative my entire life. Uh, the 2016 election was a wake-up call for me personally, and I had to do a little self-examination. I have to admit I have a brother, Devin Barris, who is a big libertarian and I might add a big fan of yours so um, he's definitely trying to convince me I've made a lot of friends here trying to convince me to join the libertarian movement so I definitely feel the pull well I think the pull really comes from the same thing that motivates you to stand up for the convention of the states like I, I describe myself as an activist first and foremost and I think an activist is someone who's motivated by a deep-seated sense of injustice and you have that right yes. oh 
Oh, definitely. The ends that we're trying to meet are definitely libertarian ends, reining in the federal leviathan, putting it back in its constitutional cage. Well, I see this as a potential important process to achieving a voluntary society. I hope it succeeds. If it doesn't, I know we're going to make it happen one way or another, and we're going to have Bryce on board. Bryce, you want to plug your website, email, anything else people should know about your project? Conventionofstates.com. Conventionofstates.com. Sign the petition. Uh, it's on the home page of the website and volunteer and sign up. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Perfect, yeah.